It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we have a beer from Beer Hut Brewing Company and it's a can of Simcoe Simon. It's a double dry hopped New England IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. And it's been brewed with somebody called Simon from the Real Ale Guide on YouTube. <laughs> Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oh no! What the... What just happened? This never happened to me before. Right, that is not Beer Hut Brewing Company's fault. That is a... Now luckily for me... God, let me, I'm just going to leave shot a minute because I'm doing some building work over here and I'll just get a hammer. A hammer and I couldn't find a... Ah! Knife. Hammer. Knife. Let's see what happens. There we go. These things happen, I'm afraid. Uh, it's not Beer Hut Brewing Company's fault, I promise you. It's the can manufacturer. That's never, ever happened to me before. There we go, that's all of the beer in the glass. Look at that. To give it a whack. But, end result, look at it. Look at the sediment there in the bottom of the glass is a can conditioned beer. Hazy Double Dry Hop New England IPA 6.5% ABV. We'll do a review first and then we'll talk about my collaboration with Beer Hut Brewing Company where we went over to Ireland. Uh, let's get the aroma first and foremost. Hazy Amber Coloured Beer. Smells amazing, smells amazing. Passion Fruit, Mango, Citrus, Grapefruit. Tangerine, blood orange. Smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a fantastic beer. So, the first time we brewed this beer. Um, was in bottle. There you go, there's a look at the original bottle and here's a look at the now Simcoe Simon can. So things have changed. I like both styles, but I think in the can it looks cleaner. I think you're more likely to pick that up if um, if you're looking at in the can. I think I think they've worked hard on their branding. They've worked really, really hard on their branding. Um, but going back to the beer, the beer is terrific. Lovely, hoppy, drinkable. It's kind of heading slightly towards like a lactose -y kind of, almost like a milkshake IPA. But there's so many hops in there. That Simcoe hop is just giving off loads of passion fruit, mango, orange peel, fleshy blood orange flavours. A little bit of sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. A little bit of pepperiness and spiciness to help finish the beer off. It's fantastically drinkable. Now I brewed this beer two years ago with Beer Hut Brewing Company. I went over to Northern Ireland at Kilkeel in Northern Ireland. Had the most amazing time. Had the most amazing time. Um, 
it's just terrific. Just terrific. Um, we got picked up at the airport, um, drank the beer. Um, as we, as I got off the flight, I met Andrew, the owner, and um, he had. When I got into the, when I got into his car, he had like um, a chiller in between my legs, a little kind of like cooler box, and he was like, "I open that up, help yourself." We got about we got about a half hour drive from the airport to his house. Half hour, forty five minutes. So yeah, he said, um, "Yeah, just brilliant. Get get yourself um, a can and um, and drink." And it was it was like local. It wasn't just his beer. In fact, it wasn't none of his beer. He went and bought a load of beer from the beer shop, and he just said, "Help yourself." And we were just drinking, or I was drinking. He was driving. I was just drinking these cans. Forty five minutes all the way back to his house. Amazing, amazing. And that just went on. That just went on. It wasn't just like a drinking thing, though. That we were drinking all the time. We sat down in the evening, had some pizza, talked about the recipe, we fine-tuned the recipe, and then we got up bright and early in the morning, started brewing. Was it pizza or, was, or did I have a massive dirty chicken burger? I think I had a massive dirty chicken burger. Big, massive chicken burger, I think I had, and it was amazing, really good. Anyway, we were up brewing at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, brewery's like, was was at that point connected to his house like he had a great big garage out the out, so we went through one door into his garage and bang there we are brewing <coughs> amazing <clears throat> um we had a fantastic day brewing up here um we started then doing reviews on the mash break and um, reviewing beers and, and just having fun and then we went off to the Northern Ireland Camera Craft Beer Festival um, Camera Beer Festival um, in Belfast in the city of Belfast in the evening and then we went to some bars after and, and, then, and then we ended up getting a taxi back and we were drinking Imperial Stouts in the taxi I remembered it was Imperial, it was either Imperial Stouts or Barley Wines we were, oh, we had, <laughs> I'm not sure if Andrew wants me to repeat all of this, but um, we had such a laugh. We had such a laugh. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. And then, of course, then woke up in the morning, um, flight back home then. Oh, no, it was about afternoon. My flight was in the afternoon, so we went up walking then. The next day we went walking um, behind Andrew's house with these beautiful kind of, more, like high moorland, um, like a mountainous range behind this house in Kilkeel. If you're from that area, you'll know what I mean. And it was beautiful up there, absolutely beautiful. But it was cold. I remember having my coat on, and the further we went up, the colder it got. It was just fantastic. But that was um, my first experience of Ireland. I never went to Ireland before that, and I absolutely loved it. What a fantastic place. Really, really fantastic place. And now they've gone on from brewing in the garage. Now they've, they've, they've upscaled and they've got their own unit and it's just fantastic. The brewery's going from strength to strength. And if they keep brewing beers like this, they're only going to go from strength to strength. They're only going to get bigger and better. Um, this is going to this is gonna do wonderfully well, I'm sure, in, in Northern Ireland craft beer market. It's been out for two years. Um... It's a continuation. They keep on making this beer because it's very popular. And uh, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it. So, amazing beer. Amazing beer. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Big shame. Big shame about what happened to the can. But do you know what it means? It means that we're open and honest. Nothing is scripted. Nothing is written down. We don't we don't plan anything. We just grab a can of beer, press record on the camera, and off we go. Whatever happens, happens. Um, it, it is a shame that this happened to this can, but there we go. There we go. That's happened. If I had more of it, because I've drunk the rest, I've drunk the other lot in a, in a live feed. If I have more of this, then then maybe I would, um, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I would just, you know, go with the flow. It's not as if the beer exploded. It just had a little problem with the opener. But there we are. Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.